So I graduated as an astronomer and afterwards there's no business really in astronomy so I had to do something else and I then came upon consulting and they were just setting up an analytics department so I became actually a data scientist over there. I thought well I'll still be handling data and analyzing data but it won't be about the stars anymore but it'll be about what people have bought, what mortgages people have and how I can find insights from that so I really liked that sort of analogy that was still there and I really enjoyed it. And because we were consultants and external to the companies that we worked for, we often had to do presentations, and like once a week at least, and to um, sort of explain to our clients what we'd found from the data and from the, from the analysis that we'd done, it, it was visualized. So I started making visualizations of our analyses. And along the way, especially when we started doing more, I guess, more advanced um, methods, that required more advanced kind of visualizations like networks or maybe some uh, self-organizing maps or things I love. Um, I started noticing that I loved it even more to explain our insights through visualizations that I did making the models even better. And at some point I just had this snap of, wait a minute, I love data visualization even more. And at that point in time, I started reading up on books and best practices about learning how to make my data visualizations better, learn new tools to make them in, and it has been my passion ever since. Um, I switched jobs to become a data visualization designer at a company, and then a year after that, I kind of realized that I was missing the diversity that I was having as a consultant. So I became a freelancer to see if I could make that work, and thankfully it has worked for the last two years, so I'm now freelancing as a data visualization designer. I think if I'd have been very lucky, I'm just a little bit naive, but I haven't really experienced any gender bias in the career that I've had. Even when I was still studying uh, or choosing the science track, and it was only one of few women who were doing that, uh, I didn't feel that my, uh, the, the, the grades that I got were underappreciated from those of my, my male peers. And when I started working as that consultant, I really felt that they were looking at the work that I was doing. I was, I was being appreciated for the work and I, I've never felt that somebody else, a, a male, got, um, got appreciated more for the same kind of output than, than me. So I guess I've, I've been very lucky in that sense. I know I've, I've sometimes had the strange feeling though, in a, like in a, maybe in a more of a negative side, where I was in a room with a team and there was another woman. And I'm like, oh my god, there's another woman. I, because I never, I never see myself. So I was, I'm, I'm very used to being the only female there. Uh, and then when I see another woman, it's like, there's the other woman, but wait a minute, I'm, I'm also a woman. But <laughs> I only realized it at that moment in time that, that there are these other, other women. But the interactions were always, were always great with the team members, even though they were mostly guys. So in terms of jobs in, in data visualization, I feel like data visualization is really up and coming. It's like it's on the wave of after analytics and big data, and now companies are starting to realize that as humans, if we want to understand data, we need to see it visualized. And that I feel like they also start to understand that data visualization is not something that you have, you can do. Even, even data scientists that are really good with machine learning uh, and other data tasks, I'm, I'm sorry, but they're not necessarily good at visualizing that data and getting their point across. That's like a separate skill. You have to train that as well. And I feel like the data visualization especially is going to grow in the short term a lot because I feel more companies are realizing that it's a skill so they need to hire experts if they want to do good visualizations of the more important stuff. It can either be dashboards or it can be some sort of branding that they have a story to tell about the data. And I guess what I see more towards the future happening for data visualization is that perhaps some things are a little bit more automated like the dashboards and what the management, um, uh, the management things that they have to see and make quick decisions. But I also see that, I guess for the more mm, custom, custom made stuff, that there will be even more possibilities. And hopefully, because data visualization is becoming more and more of a thing, we've, we're learning more. And we're learning new ways and better ways to visualize things. So hopefully in the future, like, we will have more knowledge and be able to even make better visuals, I guess.